I hope so too. <laughs> We're on the road, we're here in Dallas. We just got back from Houston, where we were at the whole scaling event. We met some very interesting people and hopefully formed some good relationships. But while we're on the road, we figured we would have a casual conversation while we have one of the best in the industry here. Yes, she <laughs> indeed is one of the best. Belinda Savage, who, um, who you know, most people, uh, if they have any questions related to IRA or transferring IRA investments, would go to her because she could set you up and get you on the right track, especially if you're dealing with alternative assets. There right. you go. Right. So she's the right person to go to. So that, enough about that. I just wanted to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about establishing an IRA and what it takes. You know, because a lot of people out there might have a 401k, they might have some retirement funds set up, maybe they're getting tired of, of the stock market and the volatility of it, and maybe they want to start something on their own and see something a little more steady. Because with alternative investments, and you correct me if I'm wrong, what you're seeing out there are pretty steady returns, correct? Mm -hmm. um, anywhere from the, the 6 to 15% range, right? On Absolute. the passive scale. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. So Wall Street talks about utilizing true asset allocation, but in effect, you only have two asset classes, stocks and bonds. Whereas we, in the alternative asset space, very much are devoted to real estate, private lending, startups, intellectual property, and a multitude of other asset classes, which truly bring about asset allocation. And clients can feel that as individuals in this economy, in this financial workplace, wow, I could actually have my money uh, invested in that little fix and flip down the street. And you can see it, you can touch it, and you can become involved with it, no less it's secured. Your investment secured by the hard asset. And I think that's important. I think people, people don't understand that. that the fact that their investment is secured in the event something happens, you have the option to recoup your investment. You can't do that in stocks. Right? Not at all. Just a piece of paper. Yeah. That's what represents your investment. And yet people put a lot of trust in that. And I always ask them, why would you stay inside the highest averages of the Dow Jones in the history of the United States when you've already acquired those profits why not take your money and put it into another valued asset and obviously gain momentum and greater return? Right. I think that's, that's sound advice. And I think that the more people understand that, I think the more that they'll be transferring their money from stocks into assets that are secured backed by real estate. You also um, dabble a little bit in the marijuana area, don't you? We do. We Cannabis. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing beyond that. I'm not going to make any comments. But I know enough people in this uh, asset class as well. So how do people, or how hard is it for people to move a 401k to a self directed IRA? So, what's involved? How much paperwork is involved in the process? So, great question because we can actually get this done within a matter of hours. Hours. So you actually set up the documents. We have like five documents that have to be put together, and honestly, they're half pages. So literally, when it comes down to it, we're talking about 12 minutes. And then we have you submit those documents to a secure portal directly to our trust custodial bank in Denver, which is called M2 or M squared or Money Squared, even better. And so Imagine this, we get the documents over, your account is set up within that period of time. I don't think it'd be any faster than that. Now, now I think there, there are people out there that are interested in um, passive and potentially even active, where they want to have control over their investments, maybe mm -hmm. even manage them themselves. Mm -hmm. But then there are those that want to just be in that passive position where they invest, let it sit there, and, and accumulate wealth, right? Correct. So. What, is, what do you tell those people and what kind of advice do you give them uh, when it comes to uh, funding their 
uh, IRA accounts, for example. Okay, so you, you can bring it over from any type of retirement account in the world, pensions or any type of individual retirement, 401k, 401k, any, any type, any type. Any type. And it can be actually transferred over or rolled over onto our platform. Now, now I think a lot of people have a question right there. Now, does it cost anything? Does it cost anything? anything? And there's no taxable event. Okay. Very good point. So you can simply transfer, if I have $100,000 in my 401k account, I can reach out to you and you would assist in the entire process at no cost to get everything transferred over. That is correct. And, that's, and that's really a mind blower for a lot of people because they don't realize the power of actually taking their money and controlling it in this vein. So too many times we rely on financial advisors, but 30 months ago, Americans to the tune of 49% fired their financial advisor because they were not optimizing their portfolios. I fired mine. <laughs> so there it is. So if I was earning 2%, you know, year over year, I can simply just reach out to you and find an alternative for myself to potentially more. Exactly. Okay. Through our network, like just like we have a relationship with you, mm -hmm. it's great to know that there's professionals in the field that are trustworthy, they have the integrity, they have the expertise. That's what people are looking for. They understand this education because they mostly have to have a home, whether they're a renter or an owner. Or, and they also have a bank account, so they can become a bank with their IRA 401k by lending out or owning a private note on a house or a property. See, we have to learn how to be more independent in this country with regard to our finances. So this is the way to do it. Now, do you know what the percentage is of how, many, how, how much money is out there in private equity versus, um, versus institutional? Do you have any idea? I, I don't know that exact question, but I do know this, that uh, Americans actually own about $9 trillion in 401k IRA money, and pension plans constitute another $16 trillion. Mm -hmm. And then in this space where we are, as opposed to Wall Street, mm -hmm. you ready? There's $64 trillion. So that's quite a marketplace to be involved with. Mm -hmm. And, sure and it it's, it's wonderful because you're learning and investing at the same time. Right, right. And not only that, but I think there's so many, we call it alternative investments. There's so many different facets that you can get into. It's not just real estate. Like we mentioned, there's, um, you know, there, there's also commercial that you can get into. And, Although that is, is still considered real estate, um, we have the uh, cannabis arena. You know, what are some of the other markets? That so there's startups. Uh -huh. So there's obviously people instead of having to go to a hedge fund or perhaps a venture capital. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be nice to go to a talk uh, some friends and sure. some family, sure. taking their IRA money and actually contributing it towards your new invention or perhaps a franchise that you're putting together mm -hmm. that, or maybe it's a multi-family complex that you want to buy mm -hmm. there's and then i would say the other thing would be a um like a ranch or a farm or maybe a boutique hotel in a destination in the caribbean there's so many different types mm -hmm. of businesses mm -hmm. that can be actually started with ira 401k money and stay tax deferred. Stay tax I, let, deferred let me make right. sure I get that right, right. in there. Right. And there. That's important. Yes. Very right. important. And, and with your service um, and your connections in the industry, you, you typically have advice or can point people in the right way when it comes to understanding how, how to shelter themselves from a tax standpoint, maybe also uh, from a legality standpoint, so that everything's on the up and up and they're not going to it's seed in the future and they're not the IRS isn't gonna come down their road. Correct. So you can you can point them in, in those directions, correct? Yes, because being a trust custodial bank with a charter 
and having 20 years of experience in litigation, compliance, and operations, we know the playing field. We know the guidelines for this. Mm -hmm. And needless to say, I'm one of the very few people in the country who has participated in the legal process. And so I've been involved with 60 cases and prevailed in all. So that's a pretty good track record. That's a great track record. Yes. Very excellent. So tell me something about your note business that where people could actually get a hold of you and say, I'd like to actually be the banker. Sure. Well, you know, it's our note business started out with us doing fix and flips, which isn't notes, but uh, that's how we started. Uh, we did fix and flips for a while, then uh, we got tired of doing it. It's the same old story everybody uh, comes up with when they transfer into some kind of new venture. We. Uh, researched notes to a great extent. Actually, Sean did, did, did some no, analysis. About six on months it. of research. Six really? Months. We didn't go to any gurus. We did all of our research online and tried to understand it inside and out. And then we hooked up with a meetup uh, group that uh, basically allowed us to purchase our own note and hold our hand through the process and let us understand the ins and outs. And, and through that, we were able to establish our own process for analytics, which actually transformed into a full-blown analytic system that we actually have for sale now that people can purchase, which uh, we kind of went back and forth on whether or not we were gonna uh, open it up to the public because we felt it was very, very close to our hearts as, as far as, um, you know, what, how we establish and work through our business. It, essentially, when you when you open up that application, it's like opening the book up to our company, right? So the heart it embodies soul. it embodies our investment strategy. Yeah. So we're basically saying, here, here's our investment strategy, and by the way, here are multiple ways that you can analyze a performing note or non-performing note, first position, second position, and you can look at different exit strategies from flipping a note to you know, re-performing it, foreclosing on it, renting it, wholesaling it, or even fixing booking it. And um, and then so we've taken that that analysis piece that we've created for the company and then we've created a another line where we're always getting assets every day. You know, people are sending us assets and we're analyzing them. And what we're doing is we're pulling the, the best assets out. And we're looking for those that only have double digit returns and we're looking for uh, mitigated risk because our our MO when we look for assets is that at the very least it needs to break even. So meaning the worst case scenario that would happen on the investment, you would break even. And we can we can look we can see that just through our analysis. So you know the percentage is is, is fairly high as to the, the performing nature of, of that. Uh, investment. So if it's performing note or non-performing note, we know going into it that what the likelihood is of it going into foreclosure or of it re-performing or of, of us taking it back and maybe even fixing flip, fixing flipping it. We, we look at all the different um, returns and time frames and capital expenditures and we make decisions based on that. And then so what we've done is we've taken that analysis a step further and we've opened the doors up to investors out there, all, all of the people that follow us on, on Facebook or LinkedIn and um, some of the people that are on our mailing list. We send them the assets that we've analyzed. Now these, these assets, we before we send them out, we make sure that they're available. They don't last long because they're typically the best assets on the tapes that are available today. So they go really quick. So if, if anyone sees these things come across their desk uh, and you like it, you better bid on it, otherwise it's gonna be gone. Uh, but we're trying to bring something different to the table that nobody else is doing. And we're not just saying we're gonna broker a, a deal. What we're saying is, is we're gonna transparently show you what the deal looks like that includes our fee in it and, and what the seller is. So it's just the seller, our fee, all the analytics, including the servicing fees, which people don't give you. We include all the fees in our analytics. So when you see the return, you're not having to add anything on top of that. It's already embedded in it, um, which I think is important to understand because most people, they don't, they don't realize that. 
So we're bringing that to the table. And then on the flip side, we're also looking at large pools, analyzing large pools of assets and, and finding um, sellers and buyers and bringing sellers, sellers and buyers together and giving them the opportunity to have us manage those portfolios as well. So there's quite a bit of stuff going on with, with us, but at, at, I think at the, at the core of it all, what we've tried to do is establish a brand that stands for integrity, honesty, truth, and, um, and transparency. And through everything that we do, we make sure that our investors, the people affiliated with, with us, don't have any questions when they walk away. The more that you work with us, the more that you'll understand that all the numbers are there. Your new investment tool, tell me what the name of it is, because I love the name. The new investment tool is called IPA. It stands for the Ideal Project okay. Analyzer. And we like to include beer after our demonstrations yeah, on that. We, we do like IPA. We do definitely like our IPA. <laughs> <laughs> but it just happened to, it just happened come, to out come out that way. So it's yeah. called an Ideal Project yeah. Analyzer. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm really fascinated by this, and I think our audience is going to want to actually contact you. So, where in fact uh, will they be able to contact you? Uh, they can get, get us just about anywhere. We're uh, online, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter even. We're also on uh, Instagram, and uh, you can find us on Meetup, because we have a, a bi-weekly Meetup that we hold that's based on trading, so if you're interested in trading assets or uh, maybe even coming to meet up to talk about a troubled asset. We as a group get together and work out these issues. You can always go to our website, www.revivalbrothers.com. Uh, you can sign up for our newsletter and you can get all this information uh, on a monthly basis as well. So there's multiple nice. ways to, to get it. Nice. And, and how about you? Well, you can get a hold of me at my phone because I carry it everywhere. 480-239-5539. We are m2trustservices.com, headquartered in Denver, and it does not cost you a dollar to sign up. And the education and the compliance guidelines are all free to you. We'd love to talk about your individual situation and of course teach you how to get into this marketplace because this is the place to be. They're so successful right now that they're, they're, people are beating down their doors. So, um, <laughs> But I have to say that if you call this wonderful woman here, she will answer the phone. She's very I, accessible. It's she, fun. she loves talking to people. She'd rather talk to you than see an email. Amen. Or a text. Amen. Or anything like that. So um, very personable. Definitely give her a call. <laughs> yes, she is. She'll okay. treat you extremely fair. Oh, thank <laughs> you. I appreciate that. <laughs> so with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this uh, business conversation. This conversation. We'll try to bring some more conversations to you as we uh, kind of move into the future. Uh, I think that there's much more to bring to the table in terms of awareness. Uh, yes. out there yes you know it, it, it's it's one thing to know that there there's ways to invest but and then how to invest but awareness of you know different people out there that can help you along that journey Absolutely. I think that's important you know? incredibly relationship backed and built yeah. and that's yeah. what we love about our industry mm -hmm. so anyway have a great day yeah. and we'll see you soon until next time and that's a wrap. <laughs>